Hi, my name is Mola Hare, and I'm a Solutions Advisor at SAP. Today, we're going to be talking about S4HANA Cloud. S4HANA Cloud is an intelligent ERP system in the cloud built with a digital core. It provides businesses with industry best practices across all lines of business, an intuitive user experience built with a digital assistant, advancing technologies to increase intelligence and automation, an open integration and extension platform, an agile implementation methodology which can see businesses go live in a matter of weeks, and a holistic environment managed by SAP. Let's take a look at the best practices. This is an overview of the business areas of Esfahana Cloud. Core Finance is at the heart of the product and is integrated into R&D and engineering, manufacturing, sourcing and procurement, supply chain and logistics, sales, asset management, service operations, and professional services. Esfahana Cloud is standardized on SAP's best practice business processes. Essentially, we've leveraged our 48 years of ERP expertise across all industries, baked it into the product, and created a next generation ERP that's capable of reducing time spent on period and close by 40 to 50%, and reducing total invoice processing time by 60 to 70%. These are just a couple of examples. S4HANA Cloud provides continuous innovation by upgrading the system with the latest capabilities and best practices on a quarterly basis. Let me now show you the Best Practices Explorer for S4HANA Cloud. The Best Practices Explorer is a standardized content library of best practice business processes, which accelerates and simplifies the adoption of S4HANA Cloud for a faster time to value. There's content in the form of scope items for line of business, integration scenarios, extensibility, and hybrid deployment with ECC or S4HANA any premise. For line of business, for example, we can see the scope item groups, the subgroups, and a list of scope items for that subgroup. We even have some accelerators, such as a scope presentation, the what's new document, and highlight documents for all lines of business. Let's take a look at a scope item. The Best Practices Explorer will provide the description of a scope item, the business benefits, the key process flows, and even some accelerators, such as the test script, click-through tutorials, and the process flow diagrams. The process flow diagrams are displayed for each scenario of the scope item. Here is the main accounts receivable scenario. We have preparation of payments, invoice reporting, invoice management reporting, and so on. Next, we're going to be looking at the intelligent technologies of Esfahana Cloud and how they increase automation. Conversational AI is about user interaction. Automated chatbots assist users with accessing information, providing guidance, and even executing transactions. Intelligent robotics process automation automates standard processes via recorded transactions to execute repetitive and time-consuming tasks automatically. Machine learning algorithms learn from custom specific behavior and exemptions to predict, support steps, automate, and optimize business user decisions. S4HANA Cloud is strategically developed with these technologies to help businesses transform from being clever to being intelligent. Let's now take a look at the modernized intuitive user experience from S4HANA Cloud. To do this, I'm going to use a live demo. This is the Fury Launchpad. Fury provides role-based applications to help perform transactions and to help produce real-time analytics and reports. These are live applications giving business users insights into their KPIs so that attention can be more focused and transactions more responsive, a concept called insight to action. Let me show you how it works. I'm logged in as the accounts receivable manager and straight away, I can see that my overdue receivables are not looking good. So I'm going to drill down into this app to take a closer look. Via the analytical graph, I'm able to see that my overdue amount in the last period is significantly high. I'm going to rearrange the data on the fly to see my top 10 overdue customers. I can see that this first customer is responsible for a large portion of that overdue amount. So I'm going to drill down to the customer line items to take action. From this screen, I can now create a correspondence or even block for Dunning. The system is able to increase productivity and efficiency by providing insights rather than a user having to actively look for any issues. Whilst businesses need to simplify by adopting standardization, 
it's also important to remain unique. And this is why S4HANA Cloud has the flexibility to configure certain elements of the system to fit with those unique business models. This can be done in two ways. The first is via in-app extensibility for creating custom reports, custom fields, custom logic, and business rules. It's important to note that no coding is required to do this. Instead, you use applications in the front end of the system. The second way is via side-by-side -side extensibility using SAP's Cloud Platform, which is a platform as a service for custom development of applications. The Cloud Platform is also used to provide integration services that help to consume whitelisted APIs, which enable connectivity with third-party applications. So far, we've talked about the best practices, the intelligent technologies that increase automation, how flexible the system is. We've even seen a look and feel demo of the user experience. But how do we deploy s hana Cloud? We do that via SAP Activate. SAP Activate is the framework used for implementing s hana Cloud. The building blocks of Activate encompass three components, best practice content, tools to configure the content, master data and processes, and a methodology. The framework uses these building blocks to accelerate implementation so that businesses achieve a faster time to value. There are five main phases of the project, each with key deliverables. The prepare phase is about self-enablement and preparation. The explore phase identifies if configurations, extensions and integrations are required. The realize phase is for configuration activities, data migration and testing. The deploy phase is preparing for cutover and getting the organization ready. The run phase finally sees businesses go operational with the system. Let me show you the Activate Roadmap Viewer. The Activate Roadmap Viewer is intended to guide the implementation team through the s hana Cloud project. Here you can see an overview of the project plan, with each of the phases broken down with key deliverables. What's more is you can actually get the content related to each of these phases. For example, if we go to Explore phase, You'll see these deliverables. If we drill down, you'll see the tasks behind them. If we drill down again, you'll see the procedures for each of those tasks, along with some accelerators. And finally, SAP are committed to keeping businesses safe and compliant. We provide a complete security and operation service, from firewalls and load balances to penetration tests, vulnerability assessments, data encryption, system testing, audits, backups and disaster recovery, and more. Let me show you the Trust Center. This is the Trust Center, where you can find information on cloud performance, security, privacy, and compliance. For example, if we go to the Compliance tab, you'll be able to pull up all of the compliance-related certificates. Cloud Operations is where you'll find documentations to help support the cloud delivery process. The Agreements section is where you can find all of the legal documentation. The Product Supplement, the Support Policy, the General Terms and Conditions, and the Service Level Agreement. I hope you've enjoyed learning about s hana Cloud and how it can provide enterprises with the power of digital transformation, with significant value through benefits such as a faster return on investment, increased business agility, increased employee productivity and efficiency, speed of innovation, and increased intelligence, ultimately allowing enterprises to become the best run businesses for the future. Thank you for watching.